Hey guys, my name is Jeremy. Welcome to the Hockey Movement. In this video, we're showing you how you can build a backyard hockey rink. Now, before you start buying all the material, you got to make sure you can actually put a rink in your backyard. It's really important because I don't want to get you having all the material and then you can't actually put one down. So, before you watch this video, make sure you check out our last video. We talked about the materials that you can use, your options, and what you need to check before you can put a backyard rink in. So check out that video first. We'll put a link right here. And once you know that you can put a rink in your backyard, well, we'll show you how to build it. Let's do that right now. Step one for building your rink is to figure out where you want to put the thing. Right there. All right. Step two is to make sure the spot you picked is level and flat. Now that's a pretty boring topic, so I won't go into it in detail here, but I will put a link right here if you want to figure out how to do that. Step three is to decide the size of your rink. Now this is probably something you should do before you order your rink if you're getting it online. We're going with a ring size of 25 by 50 and we're going to put it right there. So step four is to stake it out. We're staking out the rink so we have another stake 50 feet that way. Then we're doing 125 feet that way. Your rink has to be square as well. We're using this little square in the corners uh, just to try to stay as true as we can and we'll double check the squareness of it once we're done. So Eric is just hammering in another stake here. I've got 160 feet of string which should be enough to run right around this. Uh, just running a string line from this bag to the next one all the way around and that'll just help us uh, stay true and when we're putting up the boards it's going to help us keep a nice straight line. Once you have your stakes in and your string line up you should make sure that the rink is square. If the rink isn't square the liner won't fit properly. So an easy method if you have a really long tape measure is just to measure the diagonals. So this is just about 56 inches from corner to corner. Now we got to measure the other corner to corner and if they're pretty much the same distance apart that means the rink is square. So let's check this one out. And looking good there, nice and taut. And we're right about 56 inches. So that's almost perfectly square. If you don't have a really long tape measure, you can just use Pythagorean theorem. So you measure six feet here, eight feet there, and then the distance from there to there should be 10 feet. And if you've got that, then your rink is square. Now comes the fun part, which is setting up the rink. So what we're doing first is just laying out all the brackets along the outside so they're all in place. It makes it really, really easy to set up. So we're going to put the brackets out, then we're going to put the boards out, and Eric is hard at work getting this done. We just made a quick readjustment to the ring size, so we were going to do 25 by 50. We're changing it to be 20 feet wide and 44 feet long. The reason is we had enough boards to do three sides of the rink, uh, and then we were going to finish the last one with some plywood. However, uh, we wanted to steer, steer clear of the weeping bed because this property is on a septic system. So it's important not to have too much weight on the weeping bed, which is right about there. Uh, so we just wanted to stay off of it if we could. So we took a little bit off and then we'll have the white boards going all the way around. Bracks are laid out, boards are laid out. The final size has been determined. So we're ready to start putting brackets into the ground. The boards are going up, so we're kind of figuring out the system as we go. Uh, basically with any system though, all you have to do is put the brackets up, follow the string line all the way down so you get a nice straight uh, board. And that's what we're doing. So we're putting the brackets up every four feet. And with this system from Nice Rink, uh, these boards, they fit right into the grooves. I'll show you on this side. So you can see the groove of the bracket. There's the board. And then it has this little metal lip that catches right there and makes it pretty simple. It also has these little pegs so the boards all fit together. So this system works fairly well and we're just fidgeting with it a bit but it's going up. So once we figured out the board system it's pretty easy to put them up. We found that having this spray paint line right there is really helpful. So we do recommend after you put the string line up grab a can of spray paint and uh, paint your line down so you can follow that. It makes it a lot easier. Where's this go? I'm a tiger. Whoops. <laughs> All right, we got to put it right here. This is the final rink here, so it's 20 feet wide, 44 feet long, and it turns out that the board system that we got from Nice Rink actually has rounded corners. So we built that in there 
looking pretty good. And now all that's left is the liner. All right, so we got the board set up, we got the brackets in. Basically, that's all you have to do for now. You wanna do that October, November before your fingers freeze off trying to set it up and before the ground's frozen. It makes it a lot easier. So we still do have to put the liner in. And if you want some extra accessories, these little bumpers are pretty cool. It protects the liner. The reason we're waiting until about December or late December to put the liner in is because we, if we put it in now, it's going to fill up with leaves, it's going to fill up with sticks, animals can run across it, and that's going to cause some problems. If there's leaves and sticks, it attracts warmth and that'll melt your ice. And if animals are walking across it, it could put rips in your liner and you definitely don't want that. So this video should get you about three quarters of the way to having a full backyard rink. If you need help with the liner, don't worry, we've got you covered. We're going to put the liner in around December, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and that video will be up around the end of December. If you guys are making a backyard rink, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, send me an email, take a picture, take a video and post it on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Uh, look us up, How To Hockey and The Hockey Movement. Thanks a lot for watching the videos guys and I hope that this video has helped you make that perfect backyard rink. Thank you.